Our developer specifically East Lake Management and sure. and they did our plan and brought us back into the deal. Okay. All right. We got we got a five year lease and a hundred thousand dollar grant which was matched by East Lake Management and we built out our facility. Okay. We've been there seven years now and we have not signed a new lease yet. And the deal is if they can they'll starve you on the vine if you can't sustain your operation. But we in the we're in the last man standing game. Mm -hmm. I've been out here 30 years, right? <laughs> I'm a revolutionary, so I'm not. Again, this is about our children. This is about Fred. I mean, when, you know, Fred was a middle class kid from Maywood who, who out of his duty to his people, got caught up in, in the scenario that had him assassinated. It broke open politics in the city of Chicago with the defeat of who was the guy that Emmerham. he. Henry. Right, so if we're talking about emancipation, I, why would I not be here and be honored to be sitting here mm -hmm. in this conversation? Because this is a generational, it ain't going to get resolved in our generation. I'm mm -hmm. building, I'm planting shade trees for people <clears throat> where I will not sit under. It would be next generation of people who will sit under. And we, everybody at this table needs to have that attitude. Mm -hmm. So how does it plug to our children? Mm -hmm. We're going yeah, in at the right. sixth grade level educating our kids about the history of Brownsville, mm -hmm. taking them through, and, and the, your true reactions, once they get a little older, they really express themselves. But two reactions. The reaction is, how come nobody told us this? Mm -hmm. Right? Because they're not, being, they're not getting it at the, the kitchen table. Mm -hmm. The family is fractured. Mm -hmm. Right? In many mm -hmm. cases, the male is not even in the household. Mm -hmm. Right? So you got our kids acting like adults at 12, 13 years old because they're not being mentored properly or being guided. We got to literally take our children on and show them the path and do the aptitudinal testing to put them on that path to economic emancipation. That All of that is part of the cultural aspect of what we take on. So I had, for, for example, I had a, a group of kids in the sixth grade from Ida B. Wells Charter School, and a little girl came up to me, and she had a tiara on. She had a Wonder Woman tiara on, mm. light-skinned little girl, and she said, do you know who this so-and-so was? And so I said, no, but give me a name, write her name down. I went and did a Google search. The woman was an evangelist, laid hands on, mm. did it all over the country. Mm. And so I just asked her to stand up in the group and said, you need to talk to your grandparents and you need to know where you come mm. from to know where you're going. Mm. And then I gave her a case and she blushed. And, it was, and the kids mm. all flushed when they saw mm. that this child was connected to a legacy. Mm. Mm. And that's the piece of it that is why I do what I do. It's not so much about the money, there's serious money here. But the issue is the Commonwealth. How can we make it safe and inclusive for the <clears throat> masses of black people as opposed to allowing ourselves to be stratified along race, class, and economic lines because it's getting worse every day. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah.